So, as many of you who watch our videos will know, we go to all sorts of places across the country to do parkrun. Well, this morning I was feeling a little bit out of sorts, so I decided to sit it out. However, that didn't stop me going along to watch others and John in action. So yes, as it was just me running today, I had a free choice and I chose my favourite parkrun of all time, which is Hull. So yes, I positioned myself at the start and I watched hundreds of people flow by and I started to think, why are all these people here? What's their reason for turning up to a parkrun on a Saturday morning? So, some are there to chase times. As I watched the front pack go through, I thought, they're definitely after a time. And then others are there for their own health and fitness. It's something beautiful to do on a Saturday morning. Some people just want to meet up with their friends or be part of a community. For others, they like to be there and volunteer. So, over 600 people there this morning, and they were all there with their own personal reason, with their own personal parkrun journey. So for many people, including ourselves, the beauty of parkrun is in the variety. You can get to go to several beautiful places, wonderfully inspiring locations across the country on a Saturday morning. So here we see the front runners going through, and it wouldn't be long before the mass follow. Now I know this parkrun really well. As you can see, the surface is a beautiful flat tarmac. This is a section of the course that's at the back of the lake and it lets your run flow freely. You can really push on here. So we see more of the faster runners coming through before eventually I make my way to this point. It's about the one mile point in this particular parkrun and that helps me reflect on my own particular parkrun journey. Now, as I said, I've done this park run more times than I have any other. I think this is my 28th run here. And I used to come to Hull and look to run under 17 minutes. I looked to run it as a time trial to test my fitness and to try and get perhaps a little bit faster than I'd been the previous year. But as my park run journey has continued, I found my times have got slower. Does that mean my enjoyment of park run has diminished? No, far from it. We've been to so many wonderful places around the country and even to come back to old favourites like East Park in Hull and to run perhaps three and a half minutes slower than I used to still gives me a buzz, still gives me a buzz pushing my own body, being around so many people in pursuit of similar goals to me or some in pursuit of different goals as Dawn said earlier. Parkrun is a truly wonderful thing. So there you have John's journey of parkrun and mine is a similar story. When I first started doing parkruns, I did them as time trials. I was only really interested in going if I could run what I thought was a fast time for me. But gradually over the years, we've seen them in a very different light. I love now going to parkruns and visiting different places. We've been to many places in the UK. We've done, I think, now a parkrun in nearly every county in England. We've also visited Scotland, Ireland and Wales. We've not got any further yet, but you never know, we might one day venture abroad. So that's the parkrun journeys for Dawn and me. What's your particular parkrun journey been? Has it been one of many places? Has it been one of one particular place, one particular event? Let us know in the comments below. So as well as a passion for running, I've got a particular passion for history and one of the wonderful things about Parkrun for me is that it has seen the renovation and the uplifting of many of Britain's parks. If we think back 20, 30 years ago, many of these parks were becoming derelict, they were becoming misused, abandoned, but with Parkrun at the helm, they have been invigorated every Saturday morning with, as we can see, hundreds of people from all backgrounds, all walks of life, all fitness journeys, everyone there to enjoy each other, to enjoy the space, to enjoy the place, and to enjoy the wonderful world of Parkrun.
So yes, you'll see parkrun in many of our parks around the country, but also you'll see parkruns on seafronts, you'll see them on cross-country courses, on old railway lines. Parkrun seems to have branched out all over to any space that they can fit one into. It's absolutely fantastic to see so many people, week after week, pursuing their goals. You can enjoy parkrun in as many ways as you can think of. There are many people who enjoy them in esoteric ways, like collecting letters of the alphabet, or something called stopwatch bingo, where they try and finish with each numbered second from zero up to 59. So I have a photograph of myself in this park, age two. Here's the 53-year-old me, chasing down a time goal, maybe not quite realizing it, but still having immense fun in the process. I wonder for how many years I shall be revisiting East Park in Hull, chasing down dreams, dreaming new dreams, but enjoying everything it has to offer, all thanks to Parkrun. So, although I didn't run today, I still had immense fun watching everybody else running around the Parkrun course, cheering John on as he came past, and of course, taking the footage for this video. So yes, the joy of Parkrun spills over, not just for those running it, but for those watching, and of course, for those all-important volunteers, without whom there would be no Parkrun. So there we have it, another Parkrun ticked off, another Saturday morning full of joy and achievement and community. I wonder where our Parkrun journey will take us next week, next month and next year. Well, if you want to find out, please subscribe to this channel. If you enjoyed our take on Parkrun via this video, then please give it a like. So until next time, keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on.